which motor starter has which advantages? Hello, my name is Andreas Thomas, and I've been working for many years in the field of motor starters and load feeders. To start off our video series on motor starters today, I would like to show you the difference between the various types of motor starters. This deals less with special products than it does with the question of which starter has what advantages. Perhaps a little preliminary info. Only asynchronous motors can be started using the motor starter cited here. However, this covers the majority of motor applications as they are used in industrial environments. I'd like to begin with the simplest example of a motor starter. In front of me, I have a range of direct starters and a wide variety of designs. The direct starter is characterized by its ability to switch a motor on or off. And here we have a serious load feeder, comprising a circuit breaker and contactor. A typical application, for example, is an exhaust fan. A reversing starter ultimately has the same function as a direct starter. The difference is, it is suitable for two directions of rotation. In the case of a roller gate, this means that it can go both up and down. For this conventional load feeder, this is achieved by means of a second contactor. Particularly with larger drives, a direct starter of the motor will cause a high current impulse that puts an undesirable load on the supply system of the power utility company. That is why we have a star delta combinations. These allow a three-phase motor to first start in the star connection and then switch to delta after power up. This type of motor starter is usually made up exclusively of individual switching devices. Here, such a star-delta combination with a line, star, and delta contactor. Typical applications are large motors with long startup time. One alternative to the star-delta starter is the soft starter. The concept and purpose is similar to that of the star-delta starter. The reduction of the starting current and starting torque. The main difference between the two starter types is the technical implementation with power, semiconductors, instead of electromechanical contacts. A range of advantages are connected to this, however. Both the run-up and the run-out can be adapted to the application relatively easily. The soft starter is often used in pump applications, especially due to the soft run-out to prevent unwanted hydraulic shocks. Once the application requires a speed other than the rated speed of the motor, the frequency converter is used. A high torque can also be provided with such a device even at low speeds. Depending on the design, the frequency converter can be used for controlled braking. These functions provide a high degree of flexibility, for example for manufacturing equipment. I'll be presenting a lot of other special features in regard to motor starters in separate videos. I look forward to seeing you all again. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.